we're going to go ahead and take a look at the physical inventory side of Microsoft Retail Management. I'm going to do my best to kind of outline some of the features here and uh, how it can be important to your business. What we need to do here first is go ahead and go over here to the Inventory tab and go down to the Physical Inventory. As you can see here, it opens up a new window. If we click here on the New, this will help us generate our new physical inventory. As you can see here, there's a bunch of different options, and uh, for our sake and purpose, we're going to go ahead and just pick the first few here that's on default. What this will do is go ahead and pop up a list of your full inventory. In this case, we have 49 entries. What we need to do here is we would go throughout our store and we would collect all the information that we need to how many we actually have of each item in stock. Uh, if needed, you can also print off uh, an actual paper copy so that you can take that around with you to record uh, the amount of information that you need. Also, a really nice feature here is the import file. So if you decide you want to go ahead and put this in a comma-separated uh, file uh, from Excel, you can import this into the physical inventory database. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter in some amounts here. Go ahead and say 40, 41, and 42. Now what you typically would do is fill out all the necessary information for all the different entries here. And you can go ahead and at any time go back and edit these. In this case, we'll say we went ahead and already entered everything, so we would hit the Calculate button. What it'll tell us here is that it's going to go ahead and uh, enter in and calculate the differences between the two. And as you can see here, it goes ahead and calculates all the differences here, and as you can see, we counted 40, but we're only supposed to have 39, which means we have one extra. What this can do is kind of break down where all your items are going. This can be helpful for some businesses that are having problems with theft because then they'll realize there's some differences in what their inventory should be at and what the physical inventory is saying. And if you do decide that there is a mistake and you need to recount, you can obviously click the recount button down here and go back. After you've entered everything in and you've verified all the information is correct, you would commit, hit the commit button. What this does is it'll update your inventory with what you had counted. So if you do have a difference here of 1, it's going to go ahead and update it to 40 instead of being what it should be at 39. That concludes the physical inventory demo. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or visit our website at thepossite.com.